All right, how's it going, everyone? I am the Emerald Raider, and I'm joined by... The Jade Elf. And where we last left off, we were... We had just recorded an episode for... Prayers and preparations must not be <laughs> for Dragon Age. The rooftop is off limits to everyone. Even you, Disciples Rel? Everyone. Keep watch and ensure that nobody passes. Excellent timing, true soul. Yeah, can you shut the fuck up now? <laughs> the goblins. No? Okay. No, better yet. Show me. I'll show you oh, in a bit if you don't shut the hell up. Flickering across your memories in a blaze of excitement. Tongues of psychic flame lap at the memory of the goblins dying by your hand. I see you like to handle underlings physically. So do I. Whoa. Hey, yo, wait, wait, wait. We're taken. <laughs> <laughs> and we're not your underling. <laughs> Um, Got any more for me on, to punish? On, on. What? So yes, uh, since <laughs> I didn't finish my intro because I accidentally took one step forward, we just finished recording a Dragon Age episode, which is why I thought I could turn the camera with the right click, and it triggered me a little bit, because <laughs> mm. I keep doing that. But yes, where we last left off, we were just exploring Moonrise Towers and killing the shit out of some goblins, and now we're gonna get sexually harassed by this lady some more. <laughs> Got any more for me to punish? Sounds like being your underling would be quite enjoyable. <laughs> wow. A waste of my time. I didn't come here to clean up another's mistakes. Huh. I Do mean, you have any more? Yeah, punish? I mean, uh, we might as well fucking thin your numbers. Yeah. Plenty. But I hope someone of your talents would be more ambitious. You came here to answer the Absolute's call. Let's see what you're made of. What you gonna have us do? The folds of your mind again, touching your wants and hopes, tasting them. Ew! Can we not let We're her run us. around in our head, right? This should be something that we should be able to stop. There is purpose to her exploration. She is searching for proof of your faith. Persuasion, distract her with thoughts of your care for Shadowheart. Persuasion, distract her with thoughts of your romantic desires. Deception, fake it. Fill your mind with love for the absolute. Fighter wisdom. Bring to mind years of rigorous combat training. Show her the depths of your dedication. Distract her by drawing her toward your hunger for power or wisdom. Overwhelm her by unleashing a wave of hatred as you prepare to attack. Oh, let's, let's not do that. Yeah, let's not. <laughs> okay, so I'm partial to these three just because we have bonuses to them. Uh, oh, this one we have advantage, though. So we get to roll twice and pick the highest one. Mm -hmm. So I'm good down with that one too. I'm partial to number three because let's give her what she wants. Or she'll leave us the hell alone. What do you want to do? Let's oh. do it. Oh, that's all the bonus we get? Oh, okay. Guide me, please. Ooh, perfect. There is a tremor of shared ecstasy as she finds a mirror to her <laughs> own desire. Perfect. You crave what all true souls should. To be touched by the absolute. She is by the very absolute, thirsty. Not by you. <laughs> stand in her presence. It was bliss. She gave me everything I wanted. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Show me the power she gave you. Good for you. How do I get what I want? Everything? What exactly do you want? Show me the power she gave you. What's the point in power if you don't get to have a little fun every now and again? She gave me the power to cut the thread of life with a thought. Wait, what? Oh! <gasps> okay, well, I mean, that's helpful to but us, but that's still scary. As well as cut. That's why you should stay on my good side. She, I was kidding about the sexual harassment, but she just won't stop. General <laughs> I have a mission for you. That's it. Play along. The closer you can get to the general, the closer you'll Can we be any more obvious? Right? I live to serve. What do I need to do? Oh, do you? It happens. It so happens that I have a price. And why should I sure serve General Thorm? Is it true that General Thorm is invulnerable? Yeah, we kind of saw that. Yeah. I live to serve. What do, you, what do I do? There is a relic that General Thorm requires. He sent his most trusted advisor, Disciple Balthazar, to retrieve it. The relic is beneath the Thorm family mausoleum. That is where you will find Balthazar. 
But we have lost contact with him. Go there. Aid Balthazar if you can. And bring the relic home. Understood. I'm ready to head out. What the what if Balthazar is dead? What exactly was this relic he sent to retrieve? You said you lost contact? What do you mean? I think we can ask all of them. Yeah, I'm gonna start with what if he's dead? Because um, you know, after he meets us he might be. Yep. Death would not silence Balthazar for long. But dead or alive, he is lost. Whatever has become of him, it is the relic that matters. Okay. Uh, what is that relic? It is something that General Thorm desires and that he has ordered us to retrieve. That is all you need to know. Okay. No, it's, it's literally not because if he's dead. Ooh. On edge. Talking about the relic makes her anxious. Yeah, it's literally not because if he's dead, how the fuck are we supposed to know what we're looking for? You know? Mm -hmm. Ooh, talking of this relic makes you anxious. Why is that? Now it's time for me to dig around <gasps> in your fucking oh, head. Oh, crap. It's an 18. We got this. Uh, do we, though? We oh, we do. do. Thanks to the spores. <laughs> I am in awe of the power the relic must hold to be of such importance. General Thorne will not leave Moonrise without it. He's He's got to be a lich, right? Because the only things I've seen do that is a lich. It's like Voldemort, where he can't die unless you destroy a certain item. Oh. So I'm guessing it's where he has his soul. The relic? The relic, yeah. And Makes he's sense. all like, bring that shit back to me right now. <laughs> mm-hmm. Either that or the absolute gave him that power, which how the fuck we're going to take it away. I don't know. Yeah. Um, I think we should ask um, for support. That last one. The relic is vital. Fine. Talk to the bugbear quartermaster. Tell him he's to share my secret stash with you. Ooh, cool. Awesome. You lost contact. What do you mean? And I accompanied him. It was destroyed shortly after he left Moonrise. Hardly a surprise. We're protected here, but outside the shadows are hungry. All right. All right, understood. The shadows around the mausoleum are deep and hungry. You'll need a moon lantern to survive them. Take one from Balthazar's chambers. But don't sure. The last person who snooped into his secrets lost their head. I believe he uses it as a chamber pot. <laughs> Well, we'll definitely be prying. <laughs> That's the main quest, so we won't be doing that for a while now. Where is Balthasar's chambers? Because I'm going to steal the sh everything from him. <laughs> we still got to talk to this lady, too. Hey, what I told her to show me, that's not what I meant. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> Balthasar has sent neither word nor notice. Wherever he's gone is a mystery. Needs someone to investigate his chambers, but no doubt he's rigged the thing to high hills. Perhaps hobo goblins. <laughs> okay, so it's super rigged. She also wanted to snoop around in this chamber. Mm -hmm. So she'd be a fucking hypocrite telling me not to. Alright. So we're gonna talk to that skeleton those skeleton things too? I don't or think they can. Wide gaping sockets that see nothing. And still they seem to watch you. That's creepy. All right, Rad Radija. Radija. <laughs> this is not your time yet, blessed one. The rooftop chapel is reserved for the general's private contemplation. Save for those he chooses to ascend. This must be the place. We have to get inside. You need to stop telling me what to do. Right? I've heard that those lucky few come back changed. Let me pass. I'm a true soul. And how is one chosen to ascend? Ooh, and yeah. How is one chosen to ascend? I'm sure you have done a great many things to get this far, true soul. But above, you will stand in her very presence. Such an honor required. We're asking you how much more. Right? It's a diplomatic, but her face betrays her true feelings. Utter contempt for you and all. Oh, is she a traitor? Disciples Rel has given you a chance to earn that honor. Wisdom, prove you are ready. Reach out for her tadpole. 
You don't believe I'm worthy. And if I choose to go anyway, will you stop me? What's with the skeletons? Does the absolute devil and necromancy now? We're not trying to get in right now anyway, so I don't care about proving to her anything. Yeah, is he in, into necromancy now? Her design does not end at the grave, blessed one. You will serve, whether you ascend or fall. And I find use for even the fallen. I hope that is some comfort to you. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, she didn't get mad. <laughs> <laughs> now we come in reverence before the absolute and her true souls, rejoicing in the three glories of belonging and reveling in the requital uh, for deeds duly done in the absolute's name. Glory for the uh, for the glory. The first is our purpose, filling us with determination to bring to all mortals the joy of reverence of the absolute. Glory. The second is our, our obedience, the bliss of knowing that we exalt ourselves when we surrender our wills to the absolute's commands. Glory the third is our dominion, for obedience to the absolute places us above other mortals, and is it is righteous to command them. And when we through, and when through our obedience we have achieved dominion, the absolute grants us permission for requital, revelry without restraint to express our joy, and pride in the absolute servants. One day I'll catch a brush. Sure. <laughs> oh, that's the study. That's Balthazar's study. Is it? Oh no, no. Never mind. She said that it was uh, under something in the Moonrise Tower. Oh no, yeah, yeah. It's sturdy, is what it is. <laughs> okay, well, uh, do we want to continue looking for the tieflings or do we want to go into where that fleshy thing was in the kitchen? Oh, yeah. Let's try to look for the tieflings because I have a feeling if we don't look for them now, they might die. I feel like that's, that would be a timed thing. <laughs> I've done a lot of reading today. <laughs> Though gnolls verge upon being brute beasts who cannot follow orders crouched, couched in even the simplest terms, they can fulfill one important role in army such as the one we are building, that of vanguard shock troops. Howling gnoll berserkers can be sent ahead in frontal assault to absorb defenders' spells and missile volleys, exhausting our enemies' ammunition before the arrival of the organized phalanxes of our less savage troops. Accordingly, Ragslands and Ragslin's Hobo Goblin Rangers are hereby detached to the Hobo wilderness. Hobo Goblin? No, no, no. Hobo Goblin. Oh. <laughs> All goblins are hobos. <laughs> Hobo Goblin Rangers are hereby detached to the wilderness to track down no war packs, capture each pack's blind, blind leader, and bring them back in good condition to Moonrise Towers for tadpoling. The fine... The Flins can then be returned to their war packs, where we can count on the rank and file to follow the orders of their leaders, who will then be loyal to the Absolute. Oh, interesting. That's how they're fucking recruiting them. Six such packs should meet our needs. See to it. Disciples of Rel on behalf of General Kethrick. Okay, so she's literally his second in command then, huh? No wonder she's got such power. Jeez, that was, that was scary. Oh, Fezric. I don't really want give a fuck about talking to the. You <laughs> don't. What no, if they got something to say? We'd have to disguise ourselves because we're the ones who killed them. <laughs> oh, we were. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And we can't kill this thing because everybody's in there, or there's a lot of people, creatures in there. Arash. Arash. Thank you. I mm -hmm. suck at names. Oh, and there's another person there. A pilgrim. Pilgrim soul. What is he doing staring at a corner? Mm-hmm. The blood war. Ooh. Araj Obladra, trader in all things occult. Oh, it's a trader. A very great pleasure to meet you, true soul. Should you be interested, I have a particular offer I'd like to make. Hmm. Show me your stock, or let's hear about this special offer. Yeah, let's hear it. But plainly, I'd like your blood. What? A vial of true soul's blood, specifically. Ah, crap. With one drop, I can brew a rather potent potion for you. The rest, I keep for myself. And what exactly are you planning to do with this, with your share? This is blasphemy. My blood is sacred. What kind of potion can you make? All right, let's do it. Oath of Vengeance. If it'll help me vanquish my foes, fine. 
Never mind, I'm not interested. What kind of potion is it? No idea, but it will be unique to you. Your blood essence and the Absolute's blessing intertwined. We can learn exactly what that means together. Okay, why is everyone hitting on us right now? What the hell? Because <laughs> we're Probably a big armor. strapping orc man. <laughs> that new armor you got? <laughs> um, what exactly are you planning is what I'm what wondering. Yeah, that's the what I'm going to click next. Research, naturally. We Abloodras are simply curious by nature. What are Abloodras? Damn it. Failed history. I guess that would have told us what Abloodras are. <laughs> ah. All right, whatever. If it'll help me kill stuff. But we're not a true well, soul. It'll we are. Do something. Because we have the tap wall in our head. Vindicator. I just a little prick, and it's all over. I feel like we're gonna get cursed. I think you're way too trusting with your blood. There we are. I don't know, but that. She, she's here in the Moonrise Towers. If she fucks with a true soul, she dies. She doesn't sound like she's part of them. You just think she's got a sultry voice. <laughs> Would you have a moment to discuss another? No, that that would make me want to prick her, not have her prick me. Oh my god. Truth be told, I heard tell of your coming before you arrived. Catherick's dogs prowl far and wide round the tower. I know you travel with a delightful nightwalker in your retinue. Please, I have a proposal for him. I will reward you both handsomely. With a delightful what? Certainly, it's about close a, your a, eyes. Uh, uh, would you have a moment face? to discuss another personal matter? Oh, she's talking about Astarion? Yeah, Astarion. Nightwalker, yep. My vampiric friend? Sure, I can bring him here. What kind of proposal? You are working for Casador, are you? Let's see if she recognizes the name. That is not a name which has ever passed my lips. I am a friend to you. I wish to be a friend to him. Huh. What kind of proposal? I'm not certain. I'll have time. What kind of proposal? I will speak of it when he is here, not before. But it will be to your advantage. I promise. Well, well, looks like you're getting switched out again. <laughs> I must prepare myself for his arrival. What the fuck? That's weird. Half I feel like Orcish Fury. What is that? What is that? What is that? I feel uh, yeah. When you are downed before your next long rest, you instead drop one hit point thanks to your relentless will rolling in your veins until long rest. Yeah, that's what we already have all the time. So can I give mm -hmm. that to someone else? I guess I'll give that to you, uh, Karlak. You could drink that whenever you feel like something's going to happen. Uh, do we just bring a story on now? Uh, no, don't we um, need Will Timothy? here to do... Yeah, who is Timothy? Well, we no, can wait, just, Timothy sounds familiar. We can just bring him to talk to her and then go back and switch him out again. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Do we need to leave Will first or take a star on first? I think we just take a star on. What can I do for you, my friend? What do you make of Rafael? Oh, I never asked you about... Are you Casador's only spawn or are there others like you? I need you. Ooh, did we ask that? I don't think so. Well, let's ask. What if she's another spawn? Casador, sired seven spawn. Me and my six brothers and sisters. He always insisted we were a family. He's so angry. He was carving scars into our flesh. I was one of his first. Some of the others came years later. He was a monster to us all, but did take special pleasure in my pain. He said, my screams sounded sweetest. Aw. Yikes. And now that I'm gone, I, I don't know. I pity the other six. What do you make, um... We need you, buddy. Yep. Perhaps if you lost a follower or two, I prefer to travel in smaller groups. It's more intimate. Yeah, take uh, trade places with Will real fast. Excellent. Now that that's settled, 
Lead on. All right. Not that you need the level up, but let's do it anyway. All right. Let's head back. Goblins are such vile little parasites. I never thought I'd see one in real life. I read about your kind for so many years, but you are a finer specimen than any beastery could describe. A beastery? You should go get a room. You're really a vampire. At least one of their spawn. Oh, don't worry. We're all friends under the absolute. I won't bite. Oh, I prefer if you did. Whoa. And he's yours to command. My envy is palpable. Should we tell her? No. Okay, excuse me? He's his own person. We travel together, that's all. He does what I tell him, if that's what you mean. Yes, all mine. We travel together, that's all. Ah, it's like that. Do you have a name, Spawn? <laughs> Astarian, but, but hold on. Good. Now, Astarian. I've dreamt of being bitten I don't by think it works like that, or is that just a kink? Uh, I'm sorry, mm. you want to be bitten? To feel your life's blood slipping away. Oh, it's a kink. I thought you wanted to be transformed. But. <laughs> no, I guess it's a kink. Yes, I want it. I'll even compensate you. A potion of legendary power that forever increases the strength of the one who can see Yes, please. It. It's not for sale. But it's yours if you bite me. I will have to decline. What? what? Are you high? This is a once in a lifetime opportunity and you're squandering it. I gave you my answer. Oh, can't you talk some sense into your obstinate charge? Okay, let's not be mean to him. Um, he said no. There's nothing more to discuss. I'm surprised, Astarian. I thought you'd jump at a chance like this. Judd Spider, the potion sounds useful. Yeah, yeah, I thought you'd jump at a chance of this. You're always seeking power, dickhole. Yep. I'm sorry, but could you excuse us a moment? <laughs> <laughs> Are you actually asking me to do this? Trading me for some 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 potion? Where what? we said we're surprised. There's wrong with her blood. <gasps> I can smell it from here. Oh yeah, we don't we don't want I honestly don't like I don't like Astarian all that much. He's like just a very slick, weird, cool character, but I don't want him to die. If there's something wrong with her blood, you know? What's wrong with her blood? I can't say. It just smells wrong. Unnatural. Drinking it wouldn't kill me. But it oh. would not be pleasant. Okay, you won't die? I don't have uh -huh. a day, true soul. Don't do anything you don't want to. It's up to you. We could really use that potion. Just suck it up and bite her. It's up to you, but we could really use that potion, bud. Yeah. Fine. Oh, he disapproves. Darling, I've had a sudden change of heart. After all, who could resist? It is a drow. I wouldn't be surprised if her blood's like acid or some shit. <laughs> Magically, she made it acid just to fuck with him. Very Maybe. <laughs> I thought she was a half orc. Nah, she's got elf ears and she her skin is all gray. She's a drow and her hair's white. Oh, no. Go sleep it off in cap. I think she actually did do something to him. Yeah, because she smiled. Not to your taste. <laughs> you fetid. Full of corruption. I feel exquisite, though. So here's my part of the bargain. I hope you find it as satisfying as I found this. It was everything I imagined, and then more. I'll be able to put this to good use. What? Creepy little kinky bitch. Aw, <laughs> oh, man, I think we best... I think we did something. Ocean of Everlasting Vigor. Permanently increase your strength by two. Um, yoink. You did all the work, Astarion, but I'm taking that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, buddy, that's it. go sleep it off. Hey, hey, hey. He disapproves of us making him bite her. Well, you know what I disapprove of? Him fucking biting us in the middle of the night. That's true. So he can go fuck off. <laughs> 
In my years as the Blade, I've witnessed countless cruelties, faced unimaginable evil. But Thorm, he is made of pure hate. The Sword Coast will rejoice when the bastard's fallen. My father is somewhere in this tower. I won't leave him in Thorm's hands. Oh, his father is and in the tower. And we forget, we've a devil to rescue. Two missions, one destination. All right. Any idea where we can find them? <laughs> Not in a mere prison cell, certainly. My guess, Thorm will have confined him in the bowels of the tower. The deeper we dig, the closer we get. Ooh. Okay. I'd love to join, but I don't think there's enough space for me to squeeze in. Take uh, Starion's place. I like how you think. Yeah, fuck mm. that guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, leave camp. Okay, so... Wait, I, he lost the blessing of what? I don't know. I think as long as uh, we don't start any trouble, everything will be fine. But alternatively, we can try to go keep searching around. Now that we've seen and we know where we're going in our main quest, we can try searching around the outskirts again on the outside and do all the other quests before we come into Moonrise and keep doing this. Oh, okay, because even looking for wolves that will move it forward? I don't know. If we're breaking people out of prison, though, and we piss someone off. Oh, you're right. You understand? There is no hiding from her. He's a human. Okay. <laughs> uh, but you know what? No, I'm, I'm actually too interested in what's going on in this place. Uh, we can continue searching, I guess. Ooh. Steel claw. Feline eyes the parasite with a glint in her eye. Intent clear. Murder. Glorious murder. She wants to murder the tadpole? Hold on. Um, didn't we have animal potions, speaking potions? We do. Oops. Oh, that wasn't her speaking to us? No, that was just what we could uh, get the feel of. These are the stalking grounds of Steel Claw, furless one. Tread light. You're a furless one. Right. You, the slithering vermin I hunt is my attention for now. Sorry, your name is Steel Claw? Slithering vermin? They're called tadpoles. Murder every single one you find. The parasites are dangerous. Don't go near them. Their name matters not, merely their demise. I braved lapping waters and leaking ships to find this prey. I butchered many and will butcher many more. Oh. But this, one, this one I toy with. I slice, I tear, and when the time is right, I will bite its head off and bathe in its innards. <laughs> you know that tadpole is dead, right? You're a little bit intense. Good luck with the hunt, Steel Claw. How boring. Surely you can be a bit more creative. Um, You're a little bit intense. You simply do not understand the hunt. True joy is the feel of screaming flesh beneath your fangs. Oh, wow. Now I must return to my prey. It has been too long since it felt the bite of fear. But it's a dead tadpole. Sure, go ahead. You inspired Carlac, so there you go. <laughs> Where does this head to? Okay, so do we keep look? Ooh, we can. I don't want to go up. Wait, what was the point of that? <laughs> what? Is that a hole? Uh. <laughs> No. Anyway. <laughs> Was those, those ropes hang? God damn it. All it did was make me fucking take damage. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. 
you don't think this is an interesting time to live? Uh, dude, what the heck? He said he shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Oh. Let's get going. If not over. Okay. Then through. Um, I guess before we go downstairs then, because I'm pretty sure it'll be downstairs since we now know that the, uh, that, uh, Catherick is upstairs. Let's go ahead and, uh, take a look at that meat, meat stuff in the kitchen. <laughs> meat stuff? If we can find the kitchen. Where was it? Remember that there's, a uh, moving, movement in the walls? Oh, right. Here we go. Something slimy seems to be dripping from the rafters Mucus. above. Mucus. Something slimy seems to be dripping from the rafters above. Okay, can we go there? You have to stab the mucus or what? No. Nope. Burn it? Something slimy seems to be dripping from Maybe Shadowheart can burn it. Well, maybe out here? Roots. Yes. We're gonna have to go around. <laughs> when we win, they'll be looping up to make us know. Need visitors. Wow, there's a whole lot that we haven't explored. This map is huge. Wait, um... There we go. Wait, what'd you do? We came up here for some reason. No, 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 go back up. Acolyte Dane. How the fuck? A little saliva for what? Who is saying these things? <laughs> Jump here, then here. Watch that thing break. Charred prayer book. My dark goddess. When I lost my daughter, I learned my purpose. My dark goddess. When I learned my purpose, I gathered the flock. My dark goddess. When the flock was full, I punished the wicked. My dark goddess. When the wicked struggled, I struck them down. My dark goddess. This is not capitalized. I am yours. Okay. Who was that? <laughs> oh, they're both locked. And we can't see. Probably not until the story is furthered, huh? Um. Since they're red, I don't think we're supposed to go in there. It'll be considered stealing, though. We're just going to take a look. Oh, we can go up the rafter some more. Open up. Or do you want to try saving first? 30. I don't think we're going to get in there. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's not continue going up. So we will go down instead. <laughs> Why are those goblins? It's the, the ghouls. So funny. We're over here trying to sneak in and they're just having a random conversation. How much 
further, can I when go? we win, they'll be lewd enough to make us lords. <laughs> That's where you're wrong. Do we have a feather fall potion? A I mean, scroll. scroll. Played at the ready. Pretty sure we had feather fall scrolls. Oh yeah, there we go. Wits and blades always sharp. The pride of the gate. I've got a long road ahead. Never wanted the easy path. Fucking eyeballs. <laughs> They should have gotten better eyeballs to be walking around. Since remember she said that um, Balthazar went out with one and the eye was all killed. Mm. Okay, we gotta go that way, so let's go a different way. Let's try to, if we can, if there's no eyeballs around these fucking things, we should probably kill as many eyeballs as we can without people noticing. I agree. Fair point. Whoa. <gasps> Is that... Oh, no. That's Leah. Cal. Larissa. Oh, oh there's these, Larissa. This is the two siblings of uh, Roland. <gasps> oh, Ooh, a there's dude. A, there's a hole here. And there's flies, which means that death was in there. I think we're going to have to walk forward to see more. But yeah, if we can, if there's like no one around and there's some eyeballs, we should probably destroy those. Yeah, I agree. What the fuck? More death. He said to keep going down, so I don't know if to jump down these fucking holes. <laughs> nah. we probably, we'll probably save first and then try it. <laughs> okay, we need... Is the eyeball going to continue fucking coming this way? It is. Cool, 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 cool. I think we're going to give it a try here. You sure there's nobody else there? It was Will, right? Yep. Uh, there's one coming up. And another eyeball. Come let's see. Down. Let's try talking first. Let's explore the place we're supposed to be here, so. What's up for discussion? Did you request this post too? I'm glad I got the warden and not Zarel. Don't get chatty with the prisoners, mind you. The warden won't like that. Okay. The warden can kiss my arse. Mm -hmm. Conversation has been cut short. <laughs> These prisoners are for disciple Balthazar's attention only. Remember she said don't talk to him. <laughs> um, I have permission. What are the prisoners going to do? Talk to me to death? My apologies. Yeah, what are the prisoners going to do? Talk me to death? Your reasoning is hard to argue with. You're free to speak to the prisoners. Get on my face, ho. <laughs> you want to help? The gnomes couple cells down are up to something, and we're in. What are the gnomes planning? Let's fight our way out. You're not getting any help from me. Enjoy your cell. What are they planning? Can't read bloody minds? Go on, before someone sees. Okay. I haven't been warned, bitch. You told me it's fine. Okay, so, yeah, I guess, like, I guess releasing the prisoners is something that we'd have to do. Oh, she's right there. Yeah. 
You remind me a little of the Warden. Such gravitas. We just passed the gnomes. We'll talk to them in a bit because these fucking people don't want us talking to nobody, apparently. There is Zealot Naughty. To the prisoners. The absolute forbids it. Okay. Yeah, I definitely think that if we talk to them, we're going to end up moving the story forward. So we may just mm, want to explore no, the outskirts. This, this definitely isn't a story. We just don't want to upset them is what we don't want to do so we just don't want to get caught talking to them Curse to put my but how are we not gonna get caught if there's guards we're gonna and we can't kill them well we're gonna have to use our brains oh the warden hmm. you spark of the familiar do i know you true soul hmm perhaps not your face is rather bland. Oh. Regardless, know this. I You're am rude. Good. The prisoners are my charges, and I answer to Disciple Balthazar himself. Stay on my good side. Hmm. Your face is pretty bland, too. Who is Disciple Balthazar? I'll do my utmost to impress you. Detect thoughts. Gently probe the warden's mind. I think that's dangerous. I'm looking for a particular prisoner, Duke Ravengard. Other tieflings, your own people, are in a cell. Aren't you bothered? Detect thoughts. <gasps> we have a negative one for intelligence. Is that because of our eye? No, that's because we're stupid. Ah. Your mind swirls with information about the prison. The small levers behind the warden's desk open every cell. While the larger one triggers the alarm and interesting items confiscated from prisoners lie above the warden's office just Ooh. up the ladder if you are going to stare kindly do it elsewhere as i said you are free to roam where you wish but do not speak to the prisoners um let's ask who the disciple battles are oh wait no if we don't know who Disciple Bathlazar is. That we might be know, a We already know who he is. See, we're here. We're supposed to go help him in the main story. No, I know. But, like, usually I like to ask different people because you never know what different things they might say. My. They are letting all sorts become a true This bitch, I swear. So I have an idea. <laughs> we close this door. We cast silence. And we murder the shit out of this bitch. <laughs> Ain't nobody patrolling in this room. It is an honor to serve him. And I would say silence, she won't be able to talk. Um. Yeah, I'm looking for Raven Guard. He sounds important, and I'm afraid the mere dregs are the only ones left in my care. Uh, are we gonna ask her about the tieflings? Nah. Nah. Okay. Uh, yeah, just leave. Okay, I would say if you want to do that, I would say. Because otherwise, everybody might become hostile. You're not going to do it, are you? There's an alarm and all the cell stuff. She went to go stand next to it, really? Oh, no, there we go. There we go. You're not going to... Shh, 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 shh. My Don't sweet. Shush me. Shh, my sweet. Enter turn basement. Anyway, when we come back, we'll go ahead and see how this turns out for us. If you guys did enjoy, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. We will catch you on the next one.